Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Tuesday, March 24th, and while many of us are inside, we're looking forward to time that we can spend outside as well. Hopefully this summer, some chance to get outside, some chances to enjoy God's beautiful creation. One of the places to do that is Heights Point Lutheran Camp in uh, in Cole Camp or, or Lincoln, Missouri, Lincoln, Missouri. And Mark Nolte is joining us today. He's the executive director at Heights Point. Mark, thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour today. Yes, thank you for having me. So, Mark, share with us how has how has Mark uh, Heights Point been a destination for for children or families or youth um, in the past? Well, when you have 162 acres of God's beautiful creation with a lake and trees and you know what's not to love, I mean it's just great outdoors, even. Though it's raining today, you walk outside and the air is so fresh and you don't hear all the noises from the city and it's just peaceful. Sometimes the rain makes being outside even more like just a big <laughs> hug from nature. <laughs> um, what does, what does, uh, you mentioned 162 Acres. What are some of the the features that Heights Point has for people to enjoy? Oh, we have all kinds of lodging. Um, I mean, my idea of camping is staying inside and sleeping inside the night before and going outside the next day. I love the outdoors. I just don't want to sleep in it. So we have <laughs> tent camping, RV camping, cabins, bunk houses, houses, and motel rooms. So whatever your idea is, you can come. And so for like church retreats and things, if you got a church retreat and there's a few of them that have tents and stuff, but some of them don't, they can still come to Heights Point because we have cabins and we have motel rooms. So everybody can still come as a group and still be together, even though they have different ideas of what type of activities. Uh, we have lots of trails going out through the woods. In fact, here in another few weeks, with it warming up, we're going to have the the red buds and and uh, dogwoods blooming, and it's just uh, there's a back road up behind the bunkhouse that if you drive through there and it's light enough for you to see, but you know it's dark, it looks like you got stars in all the trees from all the dogwoods blooming. It's just a, a beautiful creation. Um, we have crawdad fishing uh, down at the springs. Uh, like I said, we're right on the lake where we have canoes and and a pontoon boat for tours and things. We have a gym, full gymnasium with volleyball and basketball. We have archery. We have uh, frisbee golf. We have a paintball field now because there's nothing close to us that has paintball, so we do paintball during summer camp. Uh, we have a ball field and sand volleyball and just all kinds of different activities, as well as we have a prayer trail, uh, which uh, focuses on the seven stages of the cross, where they can walk and stop at each stage where it explains the seven stages of the cross. Um, so there's lots of things to do. Uh, you don't need to spend any time inside because there's plenty to do outside. Yeah. Oh, dogwood trees are my favorite. Now I need, now I need to go visit. <laughs> um, what does what does a typical summer camp day look like for someone who would attend? Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a morning person. So the Sunday or the first morning, uh, we get them up early. Uh, well, every morning they get up early. We want them to get up early, have Bible study or a devotion prior to coming to um, breakfast, and then it depends on which camp they're at. Uh, like paintball, if they're at paintball after worship, then they go play for play paintball for a couple hours. And our paintball, all of our activities, are not an activity that just is an activity to play. We offer it so that the kids, you know, enjoy that type of stuff and everything. But it's a teachable moment. We use all our activities to teach something about the theme for the camp this year. And this year's theme, we're really looking forward to this because, of course, the overall theme is 2020 vision. 
but the theme for summer camp this year is believing is seeing. And if your thoughts started running away with you, all the fun things we're going to be able to do with that to show believing is seeing, it's it's really going to be an exciting camp this year. Uh, then after that, we go to, you know, they come back and they have lunch. In the afternoon, there's different activities again that go on with Bible studies uh, scattered through. In the evening, there's dinner, and then there's usually an all-camp game with all the different groups getting together to do a game in the evening. Uh, there's two things that I like uh, about our camps. Uh, on Wednesday morning, our local uh, one of our local pastors, Pastor Brown from Mount Holder Lutheran Church, comes first thing in the morning and in full robe and everything does divine service in our outdoor chapel for the counselors and the kids and does communion. So here we have counselors that have you know, been with the kids since Sunday afternoon, and they're starting to get a little drained and stuff, and then they come to divine worship service on Wednesday morning and get filled with Christ again. I mean, they just get uplifted. I I get excited just thinking about divine service. This will be his fourth year doing that, and it's just an amazing thing for the counselors and the kids. First it was just the counselors, and then the kids got to come one time, now they all want to go to divine service on Wednesday morning, which is just fantastic. And then on Thursday, after dinner, we go to a local nursing home, and uh, we sing for them and then uh, share and visit with all the people in the nursing home uh, in on the evening. And then after that, we go to Estes Drive-In in Lincoln, and we have ice cream, and we have our closing devotion there at Estes. And so we are living our faith out in the world, and that's what we try to encourage the kids to do. So that, that's sort of the camp in a nutshell there for you. That is great. I'm ready to go to camp right now, and I'm sure many people are. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ready to, to get out. That sounds like a really uh, just just a very uh, fulfilling week to uh, to be filled with the gifts of God and the, the fellowship and uh, sitting around enjoying uh, ice cream at the drive-in. What a, <laughs> what a great week. And uh, and sharing those gifts, too. Not only are they receiving those good gifts in the, the Word of God, but as you pointed out, the, the ways that they get to serve as well, going to uh, the nursing home of the community and sharing the gifts that God has given them with uh, the residents of that nursing home. I, I, I just love it. Um, we have just about three minutes left. Um, what do we... What do we need to know about this summer? I know that uh, folks probably have lots of questions, and, and many probably will have to be answered as, as time unfolds. But in terms of preparing for summer, um, just making plans, assuming that, that everything is, uh, is going to work out for us to, to get to get out this summer, uh, how do we find registration information and instructions and, and start making plans for camp for the summer? Yeah. Okay, uh, speaking of... And we are, um, we have prepared for that as far as we have done a lot of cleaning and stuff here. We have had some cancellations, but it's because of the guidelines from the government, so we are following all that. We are ready for summer camp, and everybody's looking forward to it, and a lot of the other events that happen here during the summer. Um, we, you know, believe that there is one person in charge, and uh, so we are looking at this as an opportunity to do ministry. I have three young people downstairs right now that are working on a video that uh, they're going to do a video like once every two or three days uh, sharing some Word of God for comfort for all the people that follow our Facebook and stuff. How to register for camp, uh, we have a website, uh, www.heightspoint.com. And our summer camp uh, stuff is there. We are in the process of reworking our calendar with events and everything. Uh, but uh, that's all available on the website. And uh, then you can always call us at 668 or 660-668-2363 or email us. And uh, we can help you with whatever questions you have. Uh, it is It is a great experience down here. I just had a lady call me yesterday. Her son is 20 years old now and had moved down to Springfield. Now he's back up here. And one of the first things she did was call to see if we needed summer camp help because he, uh, she said summer camp was so good for him, and 
he enjoyed it so much being at camp and what he was able to do here. And uh, so when you hear those things coming back, uh, it just makes you, you really feel like God really knows what he's doing and running these summer camps. It is just an awesome program. Indeed, indeed. Our guest today, Mark Nolte, Executive Director, Heights Point in uh, Lincoln, Missouri, right on Lake of the Ozarks. Mark, thanks so much for sharing with us about uh, camp opportunities coming up at Heights Point this summer, and uh, God's blessings as you pre- make those preparations. Thank you, too, and you guys, you know, keep spreading the word up there as far as, you know, Christ. Uh, we need to get it out to all these people, especially in this time of the what's going on in the world, what you do with your radio station there is it brings peace to a lot of people, brings hope, and uh, thank you for what you do. Thanks, Mark. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support The Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere.